Flag Day is less than a week away, and millions of Americans proudly fly an American flag outside their home every day. But are they doing it right? Photojournalist Justin Shumway shows us the proper way to do it. How to take your flag down. And we're a little tangled here. Take your line off your cleat, just run it down. Don't let it touch the ground. Unclip it, fold it up, bring it inside. A flag is to be flown from sunrise to sunset, and you can fly it after that, but you need to illuminate the flag. So it needs to be recognized as an, as an American flag, and you can simply do that with a solar lights, very popular on flagpoles, or if it's near a structure that has a light that you can put onto the flag so that it is recognizable and illuminated. Again, it comes back to that you know, place of honor. You should have the flag visible and, and been proud. Um, so you have the light on it, you can fly it at night. Um, if you're flying it in inclement weather, you'd want to have a tougher flag, um, meaning it's a thicker material. Um, what it's commonly made out of now is a two-ply polyester. Uh, years ago, it would have been uh, a hemp cloth would have been the, the tougher version. Um, a cotton flag will actually tear and tatter really quickly because it's just an organic material. But um, if you have a nice sturdy flag that's a two-ply polyester, um, it'll fly in inclement weather and uh, again, it comes back to respect. You don't want a torn and tattered flag uh, in a storm. You want a nice proud and uh, neatly flying flag. When we go into nautical flags, I'm not going to be able to give you too much content there. <laughs>